Hey everybody, so our chain tutorial is today um, and this is the one that I just did with our February piece. So it's the round bubble one and like I told you in those videos, it's super easy. Um, I have made it even easier for myself by getting a stencil. Um, I've got multiple stencils. Um, that I do use occasionally, especially for stuff that is circular or a geometric shape that I need to keep super, super, super just on point. And so that's why I have this. Um, I grabbed mine off of Amazon and it came with a whole bunch of them. Anyway, so basically what we're going to do is I kind of figure out where I want my chain. You know, if we want it like a big curve or whatever. And you can put a line down if you want to kind of, I don't even know if you can see that, to kind of tell yourself where you want your chain. I don't really need one. You can just go along and do it yourself and just do it on the fly. It's totally fine. But basically what we're gonna do is gonna go around and make our circles along our line. If you don't have a line, then just make your circles and almost touch. You don't have to, you can you can kind of uh, arrange them so that they have a little bit of a gap. You can do them so they have a bigger gap. Uh, definitely up to you, depending on how you want your chain to kind of look as it's laying on the paper. You just kind of go along like that, just like that. And since, and the stencil really helps here when you need to keep the um, inside dimension to a certain shape. Um, so I'm just going to take one of the smaller circles. And go around it so that we're creating that link for each chain or for the chain each chain link you want to get this pretty centered unless of course you want a really funky chain links and then you could go off to one side or however you like but since I'm doing a very standard chain. I want it to be uh, completely centered if I can get there. It's not always going to look completely centered which is fine. You can go back and use a little eraser and clean it up. Um, you can always go over these with a pen and, and then erase afterwards to get rid of all your pencil marks. And then the trick to these is basically just you're making a C shape and then you're going to echo that C shape bigger and then back side you're connecting it because you're basically making an oval but you're coming above here and under so you need the bottom one which is going to be down here to connect and this one and then I'm going to switch it up and go above on this one see I want that same kind of bubble look And it's just that simple. So I did under, so I'm going to do under on this one as well. And this one will be longer because we had a longer distance in between here. Just like that.
and then this one will go over. And of course, you don't have to do over, under, over, under um, like I'm doing. You can do your own kind of deal there. You can do, you know, two over and two under or however you think your chain would kind of lay. Um, completely up to you, of course, how you want your chain to look. Just like that. Um, you go back, obviously, with an eraser. And you just erase what's inside the little links that you just made. So that it looks like it is on top of the others. And you have yourself a chain. Super simple, like I told you. Don't overthink it. And don't try and get every single line right. Because it is in pencil. You can always go back over. Fix it. Make any little changes you want. And when you're happy with it. If you want to go over the whole thing in pen. That's the time to do it. Is after you've made all your little changes. So. Let's say that we want to do that. And then we would just go over each of our lines. Very carefully. And of course you could also use this stencil, but I don't want to try and line it up right now but you could definitely use the stencil for this part and you would get less shaky lines since I'm going <laughs> uh, kind of quickly here So just go as smoothly as you can. I think I'm going to edit this a bit and go above. It looks a little bit better. Oop, missed the line. Don't want to miss lines. Like I said, it just, it's pretty quick and easy once you just get the hang of it. Um, and it doesn't take long to make something look pretty realistic, which is always nice when you're working on bigger projects. You need to get something done quicker. Alright, so we have that done so we can go in with a big eraser, get rid of all of our pencil lines, and that's awesome. Absolutely, when you'll find if you missed a line, is <laughs> because it will just, part of a chain will just 
disappear. <sighs> so, when you're going in to shade these, you grab a black pencil, but you're going to definitely have, depending on what metal you're working on, you can do generic shading like you would if these were like maybe um, just black, you know, black links or um, or a satin finish. Um, you're not going to have a whole bunch of super shine to it. So you would just say, you know, all oh, this one goes behind. So this is kind of shaded over here, shaded over here, shaded, shaded over here. And it would go, your shadow, of course, would go on the bottom because chain links are opaque. Kind of go down over here as well. And that would kind of be just generic shading for these. And this one, as it goes under the link, is not going to have... light on it and then as it goes over here it's going to go behind this link it's not going to have any light on it And of course, around all the edges, it's pretty much going to have a little bit of shadow because it's something that's rounding away from you. So you're not going to see light hitting it and then coming back to your eye at that point. So any of the edges will have just a teensy bit of shadow. While there's also the regular shading. We're going to go more in-depth into different metals and stuff like that. And their shading as our tutorials this year continue. If there's a specific metal and colors that you want. Um, I do have color combinations on my YouTube. Um, and how to make them look like those different metals. But we will do more in-depth ones on here. But yeah, that's, that's your general chain and you just continue to shade each one and create your chain so like I said these are super easy and they're not they're not difficult to do it's kind of difficult when you see the full thing and you go, oh my gosh, that's a whole bunch. But if you break it down and you just go step by step by step, it actually comes out looking really nice and it's easy. So just don't overthink it and go make some chains. And I'll see you guys next time. I've got a different chain type of chain tutorial coming for you next. So I'll see you soon.